Sup guys, it's Jay Carnes. And while I was moving into my new studio, I found this guy. I had him in a box full of junk. And I don't know, I put him on my shelf, but I feel like he needs a little color. So I'm going to turn him into a superhero. I think it's going to come out pretty cool. If you want to see how it turns out, make sure you keep watching. The very first thing I have to do is cover this guy with some color. Since it's just a covered ground, I'm using the Deco Art Fluid Acrylics, which I used in a previous video of mine to paint on a shelf. I'll link it up top in case anybody wants to check that out. Since the fluid acrylics are thinner than your basic acrylic paint, I'll have to do a few coats of that. Which is totally okay because I chose the, these fluid acrylics because they're cheaper and I have a ton of it. So I can, you know, I, I, I'd rather use that for this than the good paint. By the way, don't forget I'll list all the materials that I use in the description below for anybody that wants to go check them out. So I chose to do Spider-Man for two reasons. Reason number one is because he's my second favorite superhero. If you can figure out who my first one is, put it in the comments. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's he's my second favorite. He's uh, he's down to earth. He's funny. He's he's young, so he makes him actually one of the most relatable superheroes out there. And reason number two is because since Spider-Man has one of the simplest suits, you know, there's no caps and hats or weapons or coats or you know any crazy gadgets or anything like that. It was going to be a lot easier to portray him on a figure that's just as simple. I just felt like Spider-Man was the perfect superhero for this. And now that the figure has a decent coat of paint, I'm pulling out the heavy body acrylics for the details and hopefully I can give this guy a bit of depth. A little bit of cobalt blue. A little bit of titanium white a little bit of ivory black a little bit of cadmium red uh, a little bit more and we can start painting now and so i'm mixing a little bit of cobalt blue and titanium white to get a lighter shade of blue we need to use this to kind of like get the idea of muscles kind of uh just to give the figure a bit of depth so it's not just flat you know blue and red The acrylics I'm using for the final coat and the details and such are going to be the Utrecht Heavy Body Acrylic Paint. I uh, love these guys. Good coverage, bright colors. I highly recommend them. Working on this figure was pretty tough. I am not going to lie. Once the paint got into those joints, it was rough. That thing did not want to move its limbs. So I had to twist and turn the figure, twist on the limbs. Sometimes I even had to retouch parts of the joints because the paint would rub off when the figure was being moved. Heck, I, at one point, I even debated on removing the figure from the stand because I was, I was just so frustrated with the joints that I felt like the stand was in the way, but you know, I talked myself out of that one. And just like I did with the blue, I'm going to do with the red now to give a little bit of the red some highlights too. Overall, after everything, this project was pretty fun. It was, it was different. It was definitely a challenge with the joints, but it was fun. Now 
Now, I know I had laid out some black for the spider web details on the suit, but I'm going to go with a different option. I'm going to use an extra fine deco colored paint marker. It's the thinnest I can find. Uh, it's going to be much faster than sitting here with a brush and adding all these web like details. I am not going to lie though, I am very concerned when I ran to the store to pick this up because I don't know how it's going to come out and I'm kind of scared to ruin it. I'm going to take the risk anyway, so let's see how it goes. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It'll really help my channel out. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.